Well, I think I found the candidate for my in-the-house grown vegetable. I just come out to the compost pile to uh, put some vegetable peelings and pea pods in the, in the compost pile and discovered a tomato plant growing in there. And I think what's happened is uh, when I prune uh, the tomato plants, prune off the sucker growth, uh, I just throw them in the compost heap and one of them has rooted. Some of the tomato plants are only about three or four feet from this compost pile, so I'm quite sure that's what happened, because if it had come from seed, I would have seen it long before this. Anyway, I'm going to uproot it and put it in a pot and take it in the house. Now, if that's cheating or not, I didn't start with the seed. I started with a little seedling. exactly what it is. It's a sucker that I've cut off. And it's got some pretty nice roots on it. Now I have a very nice pot to pot it in anyway. A pot that I haven't used in a number of years. But I remember buying that on a camping trip in PEI. Time flies, probably 30 years ago. It's sitting in the basement unused for a number of years. potting mix that I happen to have lying around. And to that I'm going to add a generous scoop of seafood compost. I don't think there's a heck of a lot of food value in that potting mix. seedling down in as deep as I can get it, right to the bottom. Encourage it to grow a few more roots along the stem. Top this up with a little more of the compost, seafood compost. tomato plant is ready to go in the house for my in-house vegetable garden project. Well, there we are, set up and ready to go on the floor in front of the uh, patio door. <laughs>